Good morning or afternoon or indeed evening, wherever you are. Okay, so much like adding SPF and DKM records, um, we are just going to walk through how to add your MX records. Now, MX records are there to receive emails rather than send emails, but quite a few email service providers um, will actually fire off an email um, to check that the domain is valid. So that is why it is important to add MX records, especially for uh, a subdomain. MX records do need to be added for your subdomain. They do not need to be added for your root domain. I'll make that very clear. Uh, we are not adding or asking you to add uh, MX records for your root domain. It is for your subdomain. So it will have no effect on your inbound emails because it is a completely different domain. Um, okay, so let's go and add these now. So as before, we're going to be using the uh, records that we received from Mailgun. Um, you see here, you will receive something very similar from your agency or from your Culia uh, account handler. Um, and we are going to be adding two sets of MX records, MX records A and MX records B. Okay, so let's just go into our DNS provider. In this case, it is Gandhi. Um, and we're going to add. And last time we were adding text records. This time we are adding MX records. There we go. So the name. Well, you can't see it on here, but it's actually comms because we're doing it for a subdomain. There we go. Comms, nice and simple. We're not doing it for the root domain. We're doing it for the subdomain. Um, and we are going to copy this record here. Now, little quirk of Gandhi. After the value, we have to put a full stop. Um, your actual provider, DNS provider, might not require you to do this. They might add the full stop themselves in the back end. Um, but for Gandhi, we do have to put a full stop. And MX priority, as you can see um, over here, MX priority is 10. And we submit that. Bingo. Nice and simple. He says his waits forever for Gandhi to save. Um, all right, so we've now, um, looking at comms, we've got our uh, one MX record. I need to add one more. I need to add MXB. So again, same process. MX, um, going for comms. Value, we are going to copy from here. And you see, why isn't that very kind of you? Actually, Candy adds it for us. Um, and value, MX1, priority 10. Submit. Okay. So there we go. We have now added um, our MX records. Uh, and if you do a search uh, in your DNS provider, you'll see we've got four there. We've got the two MX records and we've got the two text records, the SPF and the DKIM that we added in the previous video. And there we go. We now have the full suite. So that's all you need to do, guys. Uh, once you've done that, um, tell us um, and we will uh, update um, things at our end accordingly. If you want to test to see if that's live, well, you can do so again using MX Super Tools. Um, it takes a few minutes to propagate, um, so it might not have gone through yet, but I'm just going to walk you through the process so you can see. So MX Super Tools. This is a free tool. Um, pretty much everyone who does anything with DNS uses. Um, and all we're going to do there is we're going to put in our subdomain with our master domain. In this case, uh, it would be your domain so let's just say uh, comms.acme.com um, in our case it's oh sorry I need to stop talking whilst typing there we go comms and I'm going to do an MX lookup and that's actually the default lookup there probably hasn't propagated yet so you won't see those green bars but that's how you test it um, to make sure it's gone through correctly okay any questions uh, you know where to find us uh, raise a ticket and we'll speak to you soon Thank you.